Hello, and welcome back to Tech It. Um, so yeah, we're going to do the cannon control today, and finally finish this goddamn thing. So, how do we start that? We have got the disk in, we've got the operating system booted up. Um, okay, so I'm done testing, I know what I'm doing now. Um, all I need to do is change the frequencies of these transmitters to correspond with the frequencies of the receivers on the cannon so that I can use these to control the cannon from the computer. Um, so we've got cannon left is 4004, which is white. I wonder if that was white. So this will be 4... 4... Oh, maybe I can just use that, I think. Um, cannon right. Yeah. And next one will be cart... No, let's go power, power up, and then power down. I think this is in the right order. And then we want to have um, cart load, cart build, and then finally fire, I think. So it's right, left, up, down, load, build, fire. I've got that written down. Um, now we have to program using the software. Oh my god. So, as before, it's um, the IOX expander that sends the signals through the wires. So we have to send a signal to the IOX expander, which is this thing. A little, little thing. And. Obviously, if you look at the wires, wolf, um, we've got 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, etc. Okay? Because it's binary. So, to. Yeah, so we need to turn left. The, the word left, we use this uh, colon in a space. Type in left. And then we have a, a another space, and then we have one space I O X exclamation mark. So now that will tell us that we want the word left to use the command one I O X exclamation mark. But then we want it to wait for ten ticks, and then zero I O X exclamation mark. So now that will turn left on for 10 ticks and then off. We have a space and then a semicolon and we press enter. And it waits for a bit and there we go, that's saved. So now if I type left it will do that. Now we could have a look at that probably if we quick enough. Let's just see where the cannon is now and then we'll type in left and then quickly have a look. There we go, it moved. It moved left, one block. Cool. So now we would program in the right. So it's same again. Right. Um, and then that will be two IOX exclamation mark. Ten ticks. Zero IOX exclamation mark semicolon. Right. Come on. So now we open right. And it will be going back into position and it has there we go good so left and right work now we need um let me see power up so we'll call that p up pop pop <laughs> p p up yeah why not and that'd be um four IOX, exclamation mark, 10 ticks, 0 IOX, exclamation mark, space, semicolon, enter. Pop! And then we want power down, P down, and that will be 8 IOX, exclamation mark, 10 ticks, 0 IOX, exclamation mark, space, bug, semicolon, enter. Oh, what have we done wrong with that? 
Unknown token. I didn't. I did a semicolon at the start. Damn it. P down. Eight IOX exclamation mark space bar ten ticks. Zero IOX exclamation mark space bar semicolon enter. Now we can go power up and power down. So if I go P up. There we go, it's moved, and again, pop. It's moved again, and I can go P down. Let's move back, P down. Let's move back. Perfect. So now we want um, load, we want to load the cannon. So we have um, load, load, and that will be 16. IOX exclamation mark 10 ticks 0 IOX exclamation mark I do the 10 ticks and the 0 IOX because I want because if you just turn it on um, it will just be on forever so I want to have a to send a pulse I'm basically turning on for 10 ticks and then off again so it sends a pulse rather than just t switching it on forever because I've programmed all this stuff to work on pulses there we go load and then what well, it was next? It was build, wasn't it? So we have um, build 32 IOX exclamation mark 10 ticks 0 IOX exclamation mark space bar semicolon enter. And finally, we want, we want fire. So fire oops 64 IOX exclamation mark 10 ticks. Zero IOX exclamation mark space plus semicolon enter. Thank God, we've done it. I mean, that's all the words programmed in. Hells yeah. Okay, so if we type in, hmm, see where the thing is currently situated. Okay, so it's what the hell. It's a clear sky. Weird. <laughs> um, yeah, that is odd. And the only one online as well. There can't be anyone else doing it. Um, how bizarre. So yeah, we want to type in load. Now this should load us some carts. Assuming there's some carts to load. Yep, there's one. And there's two. There we go. Perfect. Now we'll just type in fire and it will fire them. So, okay, let's do this. Fire. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. They've, they've disappeared. They've gone out of the chunk, I guess. Too far away. But they probably have exploded. No, they haven't. Where did they go? Where did they go? I think they landed in the lava. It's a bloody mess down here. Um, they were on mid power, so they should land here. So they probably did land in the lava here, yeah. which is a bit of a bummer. Can we um clean up? Oh well, never mind. And obviously, but when we whenever we fire, we want to build some more carts and load again. So we'll type in build. And then this should have started off this system in here. Yep, yeah, there's the uh, UU matter going through. And then it will start doing its thing and building the, the new TNT carts ready to be loaded into the cannon. So we'll just um, go up here, type in load again, wait for it to load. Hopefully it will. It takes a little while. There we go. Now we'll put it on lowest power. So we'll go power down. P down. P down. P down. P down. I mean, it might, that might not have worked, but I might have done it too quickly. Yeah, I have. So I need to do it twice more. 
pee down. Pee down. Cool. And then we'll fire. Fire. And hopefully this time we'll see it explode. Fire! Boom, boom. There we go. Super. So there we have it. A completely computer controlled railgun. Now what we could do is meet, make the power up and down up slightly easier to use. So we could have um so what could be a new word? Let me see. Range up. Range up. And then we'll have um P down ten ticks. P down. Wait, this is up. Pop down. Pop. Pop. Ten ticks. Pop. Ten ticks. Pop. Ten ticks. Let me just check that it is four. To change the range. Let me see. So it needs to move. Oh, it's a bit more than that, isn't it? Let's see. I think it's six. It's six. To entirely change the power. We've got, what, one, two, three, pop, ten ticks, pop, ten ticks, one more pop, ten ticks. Thanks for our semicolon. Will this work? We'll see. Okay, so now if we type range up. Should be moving this four times. I mean six times. Was that six? Yeah, look, there we go. It's completely changed. So I type it again and it will put it onto the highest power. Range up. Amazing. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'll do the same with range down. Um, so, range down. P down. Ten ticks. P down. Ten ticks. P down. Ten ticks. P down, ten ticks. P down, ten ticks. <laughs> How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, one more. P down, ten ticks. Okay, now we type P down. Should give us the next one. Oh, didn't quite work. Why didn't that work? Let's try again. P down. Huh. Oh, sorry. I know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Range down. Let's just go pop twice to get it back to where it was. Such a noob. Range down. There we go. That's better. Boom. Perfect. Oh my god. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? I think we should save this. Um, save. Canon. Control. Uh, we're done wrong here. Save. Canon, is this right? Control. There we go. Good. We saved it. So now we can fire, load, build the carts, change the power, move the move the cannon, all from just this computer here. 
which is very, very awesome. Yeah. So there we go. That is the railgun. Well and truly finished. Next time, I'll be starting a new project using motors. Uh, maybe we'll see. Yeah, I think so. But until then, goodbye. Bye.